real quick on tonight. Um, this is heavy upon my heart. Being that I have been recently um, speaking on my testimony of nine years of celibacy, I understand that there's some of you who have been reading the posts and you are beginning to feel some type of way because you have had a kid out of wedlock or you're pregnant out of wedlock and I want to speak to you tonight. I want to encourage you tonight. This word is for you tonight. First and foremost, as a believer, me being a believer who tries best to abide by the word of God and the spirit of God, I am one where when I am made aware of someone who is pregnant out of wedlock, it actually breaks my heart because I understand and I know that a lot of the times it's not intentional. And then there's a huge responsibility that comes with a child. A very huge responsibility. It also causes that person's life to be altered in a way that sometimes major plans have to be rearranged. And then there becomes a struggle in that person's life. That's why my spirit grieves. Um, but at the same time, I want to encourage you because even though you may be pregnant out of wedlock or you have had a child out of wedlock, if you are a born again believer and you have repented of that act, God has forgiven you. You are a forgiven child of God. And he's not going to hover or continue to bring that thing to your remembrance that you can feel condemned. God does not condemn. That's the enemy who does that. That's people who does that. I nor anyone else have any right to have unforgiveness or hatred or to feel animosity against you because you had a child of a wedlock. What's done is done. You know what I'm saying? What's done is done. There's no reason to continue to bash you for something that's already been done. And this is the thing. God's love for you never failed. And it never will. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Also understand this. Though you may have had a child out of wedlock, God has purpose for that child, okay? And also understand that God still has purpose for you as well. But you've got to align yourself with the Word and His will. You now have a responsibility to bring that child up in the ways and the things of God so that God can be glorified in that child's life as well as in your life. He can use you as a testimony of his grace and his mercy and his love and how he will not give up on you. Hallelujah. As I was saying earlier, when I'm made aware of someone who's pregnant or had a child out of wedlock, well, let me say this. When I under I've been made um, aware of somebody who is pregnant that has a child of the on the way I don't congratulate them for the pregnancy but I can congratulate them for a safe delivery of that baby hallelujah I don't congratulate on the pregnancy but I congratulate for safe delivery. Understand this. Hope is not lost for you. If you have had a child out of wedlock. Or if you're pregnant. You just got to continue to trust God. With your life. And with the plans that he has for your life. Understand and know. That his love for you will never fail. I want, I want you to grab hold to that thing. God's love for you, once you've repented 
And even if you haven't repented yet, his love does not fail for you. I want you to be encouraged and know that it's never too late to start over. Hallelujah. It's never too late to start over. What do I mean? It's never too late to start over. In other words, you messed up. The child is not a mistake. But you messed up. You fell short of the glory. But you can always continue on that Christian journey. In spite of what people say to you. In spite of people trying to bash you. None of that matters. It's what God thinks about you that matters. Hallelujah. Another thing is, you don't have to settle to be with that person that you're having a child with. That's another trick of the enemy. Um, God wants you to be happy. And he wants you to be in his will. So you don't need to feel as if, well, now i got to marry this person because I've had a child with them. Even though it is a good thing for the child, for their biological parents to both be in their life. But that may not be the case. That's why it's up to you to seek God's face for whom it is that he would have you to marry. And for those of you who have had a child and, and uh, the child is growing up, you know, is in... Uh, in years, up in years now, you know, God still has a plan for you as well as it pertains to whether or not you get married. See, God has people out there who are willing to uh, accept you for what has been done in the past. That's right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There's somebody for you. So don't lose hope. Don't give up. Be encouraged. Hallelujah. And know that victory belongs to you. I love you in Jesus' name and I pray that you've been encouraged.